Good morning, Bill Davis here, technical trader with Chartered Markets. It is April 28th at 6.45 a.m. And I wanted to look at the NASDAQ 100 futures, as well as some of our uh, trade alerts, uh, one of them being Facebook from the other day, Microsoft, also want to look at Nike, and take a quick glance of the Tesla chart and sort of see what's moving today. I'm go ahead and share my screen for the NASDAQ 100 futures. As you can see here, yesterday we, we talked about this particular area, this 12,942 to 13,004. Uh, being a potential area where we could get some price action movement in between these range, in between this kind of range here. And we were anticipating a move upward towards 13,400 in the event this did provide some more support for a potential bounce. Now, granted, uh, the earnings from Microsoft and Facebook are helping the NASDAQ 100 today, which is up about 256 points as this uh, video is playing or being recorded. I'm going to take this off. If you look at the 20 and 50 day moving average, let's take this other one off. We're still below the 50 day moving average, which Ideally, I like to be above this 50-day moving average and to hold that as support in order to make uh, move, new movements higher. Uh, anyhow, we're still below it. We still, um, you know, we, we broke below the March lows is something we've been talking about for weeks now on the, on the uh, S&P 500 futures. We're almost there. We identified this yesterday and we talked about it. Russell 2000 has breached and broke below both February and March lows. Uh, the Dow, Dow, Dow Jones Industrial, <clears throat> still like the strongest of the bunch here. Let's go ahead and take a look at Microsoft to see how it's reacting. And two days ago, we had our target at 282.57 to 291.11. If we look in the pre-market here, we say it, you know, it broke our target, and it's almost reaching our second target again, which it it did yesterday at roughly about about noon. Let's take a peek at Nike and see how that's developing. Uh, for Nike, <clears throat> when price was down in this uh, zone area, we we said that uh, we'd be bullish for Nike for a, a break and or a break and a close above the 122.68 for the week. Uh, bear with me one moment. We need to cough real quick. Sorry about that. So we were bullish on Nike to close above 122.68 for the week. We saw that anything under this area, we looked at this as buying opportunities based on our um, our data models. If we look intraday at one hour chart, you see right now we're we're above that 122.68. Look at Tesla. Tesla, we were bullish to close above the uh, nine, $919.88 by the end of the week. We did hit that area again yesterday and uh, it's at 901 right now pre-market. So, but I do anticipate this to uh, close above the 919.88. I think when last time we looked at this, 
we had a 83% uh, probability of that happening. And if you just look at pre-market, it's just kind of like sitting there. Um, what was the other one I wanted to look at? Facebook, obviously. Facebook were really bullish. Uh, we've been posting videos and uh, posting content on Twitter, uh, TradingView, Facebook, that um, we felt it was going to be a, a, a bullish uh, climactic move on this, that the analysts were wrong comparing uh, Netflix and Google to Amazon, especially during this time's uh, earnings report. You go to our Facebook, for instance. It's funny. We even shouted out to Kramer. And I'm not a big fan of Kramer. I don't watch Kramer, but I happen to see him on Facebook on April 25th, downgrading Facebook and saying how they're going to have potentially horrible numbers and things like things of that nature. So I went ahead and just did a retweet to Kramer. Let him know that we believe there's going to be a, a surprise. And uh, that was April 25th. We've just been, you know, we've been bullish on on uh, Facebook. And we posted it's uh, time to go against the grain. And, you know, we got some videos out there also on YouTube. Let's see where Facebook is right now. Oh, by the way, our targets for this, um, <clears throat> in case you're wondering, was our DOM A, was our 202.52 for uh, T1. T2 was 216.93 to 219.92, and T3, 238.92 to 244.03. But to be honest, we'd be satisfied with taking profits above 202.52. Just because that's our our penetra uh, penetration level, that doesn't mean that because it's above two hundred two, it it can't keep going higher because it can. But uh, we probably take some off the table this morning. At least someone takes some off. Look at futures again. <clears throat> and it just sitting nicely right in our little zone here that we we identified. And let's see what is kind of moving today, this morning. So we'll go to our DOM levels document. And we'll see pre-market. We like Boeing. Um, let me look at the Boeing chart real quick in the background. If I'm not mistaken, in our video yesterday, we were talking about Boeing, how it breached below that Dom C level. And statistically, there was a 66% probability of it closing above 165.09. Let's just go ahead and look at that. So here's the Boeing chart. Let's see if we can shrink this a little bit. As you can see, there's our uh, note from yesterday. 66% uh, probability of closing above 165.09. And um, we flagged it down here near the, near the low of yesterday. Right now it's at 156.17. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, Chewy looks like it's above our... Dom C, Dom A level, which is, let's put a coordinate in here. Let's just kind of see what, what's going on here. Hold on one second. Oh, pre-market. What's pre-market doing?
what is pre-market price? Let's see. 39. Mm, I'm not seeing it. I was showing a 39 pre-market, but maybe that's just, maybe there's something wrong with my calculation. We'll skip the, uh, the whole chewy thing. Let's see. Um, JetBlue is one that we were looking at the other day. Lots of notes on this one. JetBlue is at 11.45. This one we anticipate, <clears throat> you know, even buying at the gap down for this to close above the 11.82 by the end of the week. If if it if it doesn't close above 11.82 should close pretty darn close to it. Let's see. Just looking at this, uh, oh, Netflix, let's take a peek. Just some of the ones that we've been looking at and some of the ones that already have mocked up annotated charts. Netflix, we've been feeling pretty bullish about this. Uh, yesterday, it breached below this area. And we said, we believe that there is a 66% prob uh, probability that this will close above the 197.09. Uh, Pre-market, it's at 191.70. And with this breach down at these levels, it was in the one, in the high 188s. So let's look at Facebook again. Yes, uh, full disclosure, we are obviously in, in Facebook. Looking good above the Dom A. It'd be uh, really sweet to get that 216, but um, you know, being up 17%, uh, definitely want to take some profits off the table. Let's see what Apple's doing. They report today after the bell. Right now, it's not doing a whole lot. Let's see what this looks like on a daily. I had to look at this to see if we're going to be bullish on this or not, as far as like an earnings play. There's not a lot going on with the chart. Um, it's riding this moving average, just the 50 day on the weekly. Still below the 50 on the daily, which it's not ideal. Here's what we'll do. We'll mock up Apple just so we can kind of see how it's performing today. This will be our pre-market low. And we'll mark our pre-market high. And we'll turn these off. And we'll kind of see how Apple moves around in the pre-market ranges. And then we'll, come, you know, before the market opens, obviously come back and check these and see how it's performing. But uh, overall, we're um, very happy with Facebook's performance. There's still two and a half hours before the market opens as far as... Uh, be able to get rid of options and things of that nature. We do have some market news today as well. Uh, I believe it, it's at 8.30. Let me look at my calendar here. Mm -hmm. Grab one of these. See what all is going on. Today's the 28th. So there we have GDP numbers at 830, as well as unemployment claims and then natural gas storage at 1030 a.m. So could be some market moving uh, material at here to 830. So uh, watch for volatility. Speaking of volatility, let's see what it fixes real quick. Mm -mm. 
Yeah, it's dipping a little bit. Get rid of those lines down there. That's old. So. Oh, this is just inside day ranging. You look at these. Uh, I'll delete these in a minute. Just inside. And then you can even get more, a little bit more granular. We're not darn near closed. Right at the uh, previous day's candle. For the BIX. So. Is there any pre-market activity on BIX? I think there is, but I don't have the futures fixed, do I? No. See, those like on a weekly. Get rid of those. Yeah. I mean, not a whole lot going on. Just get your inside day candles going on here. But um, bearish on VIX. I think we're going to keep seeing some downtrend now on the VIX. Especially after Apple, and then the markets will be, you know, focused on the Fed again because there's nothing else really to focus on. The Russia war is still going on, and it seems like that's going to go on forever. So uh, let's just close this out by looking at Nasdaq one more time, and then we'll end the video. I'm just ranging. I lied. Let me look at Facebook and then we're definitely done. <clears throat> Pre market. And let's just hit the zone up here. This big candle, by the way, is not your, is not, you know, just ordinary retail traders here. This is not your mom and pop buying here. This is institutions. So you want to pay attention what the institutions are doing. And the institutions here are saying buy. Keep that in mind. Yeah, follow the money flow, right? Just like when the institutions were dropping. These big, enormous candles. Constantly. So let's pay attention to those. This is what I was referring to. Remember in previous videos, we were talking about how they were popping and dropping. And pre-market again, they pop it up, drop it, prop it up, drop it. And that just, that continuation just happened for weeks or days. Pop, drop, pop, drop, and now that cycle has reversed. So institutions are buying. All right, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you uh, had a chance to look at some of the other videos, like the Microsoft videos, some of the Tesla videos on YouTube, as well as some of our posts on Twitter and Facebook. And uh, I'll be checking back in here and probably, probably a little after the market opens. Just see how Facebook and everything is going. Uh, if there's any new alerts that are popping up. Um, some of the items to keep an eye on today for me would be obviously Tesla, uh, Microsoft, Apple, Facebook. Um, if you're into these trade, these other trades I'm gonna mention, you know, these are some that are popping up on my radar. Uh, Boeing, Chewy, Hilton Hotels, Intuit, uh, obviously uh, JetBlue, Nike, uh, Marriott, uh, Paychex, P-A-Y-X, Qcom, and Wynn Resorts. Other than that, have a good morning, and uh, we'll catch up soon. Take care.